uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how the stretch zone and the outside zone come together and really make a play that is really, I think, hard, hard to defend. And certainly, um, at least from a, a, a whiteboard perspective and a paper perspective, makes the defense really wrong in anything that they do. So here it is. Just to recap, on the outside zone play, running back's going to be a yard. I would say a yard, but he can be further outside the tight end and his angle. To try to, if the defense doesn't move, remember if the defense doesn't move, he wants to work the ball outside. And the blockers are going to be in that unison to overtake. They can have the angles to block the defensive ends, with the defensive line, and the linebackers appropriately for the ball to run outside. On mid zone, if they don't move, and when I say don't move, if they don't plan inside, then the blockers are going to look to knock it out a minute before they climb for the ball to roll back. And it's going to have a lot more runs that can go behind the center's block, so on and so forth. So how do you mesh those two together? Well, I think you set the game up with the running back on an outside zone path and, and, and run early in the game. So whether it's this look and it's out of pistol and you, you're picking the side that you, that you want to run to, just for instance, and however you want to work the combo, whether you want the, the guard working with a tackle if he's if he's tight enough on the center or however you want to do it, doesn't really matter. You start the game like this. The center runs his pull technique. He's looking to get his depth and run and reach the three technique. He's taking a good angle toward this linebacker to block that one. Again, how you want to give a stiff arm, you want to give a bench press, that's, you know, that's up to you how you want to work the techniques. That's perfectly fine. He's getting the depth and running. He's looking to cut this thing off. Now, now this ball doesn't all, you know, if it's just this from the, from the defensive tackle, for instance, he just runs four yards outside. That, may, that ball might, might roll anyway, but there's going to be a huge cutback. But in theory, you want to try to get your depth and run, go to your pull technique, and reach the defense. Cut the defense off here and split them up in this way. So the ball can 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 run play side and the, and the running back can get past the line of scrimmage. After you've done that, when again the techniques are the same from everybody. After you've done that, you can come back. You can have the same look. You can roll that thing back, and it will be. I mean, really. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how a defense. Besides just defeating the blocks, so they can always just defeat the blocks, which is where you have to be really good at the muscle memory and the repetition. But as far as the center now, getting a little depth, getting his head on the outside and just looking to knock that out, the running back knowing the ball, unless, unless these guys slant in, the ball is going to cut back. My first couple steps are the same. I can press it wide, and I'm going to look to, for, for the cutback. It really it jeopardizes, it jeopardizes this guy. It jeopardizes this guy. This guy won't fall back. As you know, sometimes if the ball continues to roll back, what will happen is a play side linebacker won't be blocked. So in a situation like this, a play side linebacker won't be blocked. He'll flow it just a bit, and then he'll come back underneath, and he'll 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 make the play because he knows the ball is not going to be blocked. Or, or you, you may even have – Something like this, where you have a two eye and a linebacker and a three technique, and you know you get something like this, and the ball's coming here, and even on a mid zone play, well, he'll fall back because he knows the ball's going to roll behind it. On if you set the game up with a pure stretch zone, and you've reached it a couple times with the with the uncovered man because the the, the, the covered man's dipping and ripping heavy through it, he's coming off at a good angle. He's going, he's getting some depth and running to overtake it. And what will happen is they're going to have to loosen up and you'll get the rollback. So I think the, the, the two plays are imperative to run together. 
especially if you run an outside zone play, opportunity to cut the ball back will be there. If the running back can be in sync with your blockers, it's going to have a great chance to really run where there's space in the defense. So this is a value to you, and uh, thank you.